given my great love of Catherine Hepburn, there were definitely going to be parts of Pat and Mike that I liked. But actually, I think I enjoyed the film. There were times when the narrative was a bit slow and I didn't think it was moving very fast. But ultimately, it was a pretty good film. This was released in 1952, directed by George Cooker, written by Garson Cannon and Ruth Gordon. And we have Catherine Hepburn as our protagonist, Pat. And we have Spencer Tracy as Mike. And... Pat is a brilliant athlete. She's great at playing golf and tennis. Basically, there's no sport she can't turn her hand to. And that's fantastic. But whenever her fiancé is around, she doesn't play as well. And she kind of gets nervous. There's almost this anxious quality. She just doesn't feel right when he is around. And we have another character coming into her life, Mike, played by Spencer Tracy, who agrees to be her manager. And the relationship between them definitely takes an interesting direction. I won't say any more about that or what happens with Pat and her fiancé or Pat and Pat and Mike. Um, given the, the title of the film, you can kind of imagine the importance on that relationship. But it's partly about the relationship aspect, but also about how it affects her as a player, how it affects her career. And we see these changes in her character and in her personality as the film progresses. And that's something that I found to be quite fascinating to watch and I really enjoyed that. Also, I don't care about sport, but I will watch Catherine Hepburn play in golf all day. I absolutely loved it. I, I just think she looked fabulous. There is something peculiar about seeing somebody playing golf in a skirt. But aside from that, uh, I thought it was just exquisite i don't know how much of it is um talent she already had or if she had to learn the basics of golf for the film but either way it looks natural it feels like you know genuine it feels like she can play this game very well and the costumes she wore for the different sporting events or games i thought were wonderful quite different to what she normally wears uh in in her films so that was something i found to be really delightful the character of pat is really likeable it's just so unusual to see a film well even nowadays but certainly in the 50s where we have a protagonist a female protagonist heavily involved in sports it's so uncommon and Catherine Hepburn was the perfect choice for this and as I said I don't care about sports I loved watching her play golf and tennis as well and doing her exercises and I just okay yeah I'm in love with Catherine Hepburn I can't I can't deny that but the point is, on paper it may not have appealed to me, but the execution of the film is really entertaining and really engaging. As I said, there were times when I felt like the narrative wasn't maybe moving as quickly as it could have done. There were bits of fluff or padding here and there, but not enough to hinder my enjoyment of it. I really liked it. It probably wouldn't make my... Well, the film wouldn't make my list of top five Catherine Hepburn films, but the character of Pat might. She might be one of my top five Catherine Hepburn characters so far. I still have a few to watch. We'll see if that changes. But either way, Pat and Mike is yet another really enjoyable Catherine Hepburn Spencer Tracy film and I thoroughly recommend it.